Hello everyone, this is Cindy with Monarch Mom DIY. I am here today with one project for you. This is my version, a dupe of something I saw at Hobby Lobby. So I hope you all enjoy this video. Let's get started. For today's project, I am using two full boxes of the tumbling tower blocks, one of these cookie sheets from Dollar Tree, some terracotta pots, and this sign here. You'll see I'm just going to take that raised heart off the front and sand that down, and then flip it over, remove the little ribbon and the staples on the back. And even though you won't see the bottom, go ahead and remove the label as well. Welcome back. If you have been here before, hopefully you are subscribed to my channel so you type, YouTube will let you know when I upload new videos. And welcome if this is your first video. I hope you enjoy this decor DIY and will subscribe so that um, you can come back for more. So I'm taking my Waverly chalk paint in the dark brown color called Truffle. And I'm going to paint the front of this sign. I actually needed two coats and then I went around the sides one time. With my tumbling tower blocks, I chose to use just the natural colored ones. So I'm going to put in the description box the total number of tumbling tower blocks I used. But for this part here, these are gonna be the four, I'll call them columns of my structure. I'm going to use 10, 10, eight, and eight. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm gluing two together to make little pairs. And I'm going to do that to all of these blocks and then glue my pairs together to make long columns. All right, so here you'll see I'm gluing all of these pairs together to make five pairs out of these 10. If you watched my video where I made the lantern, this is very similar. I'm using a lot of tumbling tower blocks for this project as well. All right, so then I'm gonna glue all those pairs together and make five pairs, five pairs, four pairs, and four pairs for this first part here. So I'm using my metal, um, what do you call it, the square ruler, it's kind of like an L shape, to try and make sure that my columns are straight. Once I have them glued together, I'm just running my hand sander over them just to even out any spots where hot glue might be sticking out. Um, or any rough edges. So do that to all of my columns here. And then I'm going to take my truffle paint again and paint my long, I'll just call them long sticks of Jenga blocks. All right, so just painting all of the sides and the two ends with my dark brown paint. All right, while those are drying, I'm going to make some more columns. Here I'm gonna make pairs again. I'm going to make five pairs, five pairs, three pairs, three pairs, okay? So I'm going to use 10, 10, six, and six. So if you're counting, let's see, for those first four, I used 10, 10, eight, and eight, which would be 36 blocks. For these, I'm using 10, 10, six, and six, which would be 32. So we're already up to, what is that, 68 of these tumbling tower blocks. So just like I did before, I'm gluing the pairs together and then here I'm using that ruler again as I glue them end to end and try to make them as straight as possible. So 
So I didn't show up, but I also painted those last sticks, the 10, 10, 6, and 6, also with the paint. These are back to my original columns that I made that are five pairs, five pairs, four pairs, and four pairs. I'm going to now glue these to the four corners of my sign. All right, I'm doing a mixture of the Fix All adhesive from Dollar Tree and also my hot glue. Um, I come to find out that these don't really mix well together, so I would probably just stick with the hot glue. So the two taller columns are gonna be at the back of my project so here I'm putting those on first and then the slightly shorter columns are gonna go at the front of my project so here I'm gluing those now and I'm trying to really get these as straight as possible and as even as possible sorry for my shoulder in there a couple of times And here's what it looks like with those first four columns of Jenga blocks glued to the four corners of our sign. Okay, so these are the second sets of blocks we used. We had another five pairs and five pairs. That's what I'm gonna do here across the top of the back and then also the top of the front of my project. I'm using a combination of Gorilla Wood Glue and also my Gorilla Hot Glue just to uh, make sure this stays in place. I am holding it there for a good 30 seconds to a minute just to make sure it is staying in place and is as straight as possible between the two tall pieces. Here I'm going to take eight more of my blocks and I'm going to paint them with that mineral gray. It's a light gray chalk paint. Here I'm just showing I'm painting the front but I will also paint the sides, the back, and the top so that um, everything is completely covered. Another thing I didn't show that I'm gonna use here in a minute is I did take eight more Jenga blocks and glued them in pairs and painted them brown as well. And I'm gonna show here in a minute what I'm going to use those for. And here they are. I'm just going to glue a pair laying flat at each corner. This is just to raise up the sign or the base of my project just a little bit off the table or um, whatever you have it sitting on. So if you're counting, we've used 36 blocks, 32 blocks, eight blocks, and another eight blocks. So total, I used 84 of the natural colored tumbling tower blocks for this project. So what I'm doing here is I'm measuring, this is the back panel, I guess you'd say, of the project. And I wanted to measure it, so I made sure I cut my piece of chicken wire just a little bit larger. And that's what I have here. And I could have used a staple gun. Um, mine, however, was out of staples. So I decided I was just going to be patient and use hot glue and try and get the chicken wire as flat as possible. So I could then just hot glue over it and get it to stay in place on the back of my project here.
If you don't have chicken wire available or have it on hand, you can always use one of the wire baskets from Dollar Tree and just cut it apart so that you can have one large piece. I've done that before on projects as well. You'll see I will lay random things on top of the chicken wire just to give a little bit of pressure so that it will stay flat long enough to let the hot glue dry. And here's the back of the project with the chicken wire completely in place. All right, now I'm taking those sticks of three pairs and I'm hot gluing them kind of on the sides at the top. They're a little bit at an angle because remember the top columns are only four pairs tall and the back columns are five pairs tall. So they will angle up as they go towards the back, but I'm just using hot glue to put them in place, squirting a little bit more hot glue in there just to hold it in place. And you can see my project is not perfectly square, but um, I am really happy with how it's turning out. So these gray ones, I'm kind of gluing them to the front to look a little bit like a like a picket fence kind of. The project from Hobby Lobby that I am duplicating had them, you know, pointed um, like with triangles at the top. But I wanted to recreate this with as many Dollar Tree items as I could um, so that it was an easy to duplicate project. So next to make the tin roof, for our little shed here. I'm taking this two pack of cookie sheets from Dollar Tree and I'm going to use one of them. I measured the top area of my project and added about two inches to the length. And I'm just kind of tracing that out with my ruler and I'm going to cut that out with some scissors. And then I'll show you how we're going to give it that rippled look. So to give that rippled look to our metal roof here, you'll see I'm gonna use two dowels. I'm gonna kind of form it around one and then fold it the other way with another dowel. And I'm gonna keep going back and forth so that it kind of gives my metal that wave going up and down, up and down. So I just kind of form it on the one dowel and then roll it again towards myself with the other dowel. I just keep moving them, switching them where they are in place. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. If not, you can always pause this and go back, but I'm kind of just bending it around the two dowels. And then I am going to stretch it just a little bit so that it will fit the um, width here of our little shed that we're making. So to attach this is real simple. I'm just going to put a bead of hot glue and I made sure my roof was where there was um, a down part on each end. I don't know how else to say that where the lip of it was kind of coming up so that it would easily attach there where the hot glue was. And then where you'll see there's a little bit sticking up, I'm just going to put a couple dots of hot glue and then just make those edges stick down. So this is the front of our little shed and then turn it around and do the same thing on the back so that the metal roof is completely attached to our little shed here. So 
So the item at Hobby Lobby that I'm duplicating had three little galvanized metal tins. I decided to use three terracotta pots because that's what I had on hand. And right now they are readily available, not just at Dollar Tree, but also at places like Walmart and Michaels. So I have three of these terracotta pots and I decided to give them a base coat of my mineral chalk paint, also the same color that I did the little picket fence pieces at the front of my project. Then I'm going to take my white and like you've seen me do in other videos, I'm just going to kind of dry brush the white over the gray so that both colors will be shown. So here's our little wood shed with the three terracotta pots from a couple different angles. And here I just took some of the floral greenery that I had on hand and cut little pieces to put them inside. You could use real plants, you could use herbs, whatever you'd like for this. You could even do succulents. I hope you guys like how this project turned out. Please, like I said before, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you like home decor DIY videos on a budget. And I would love to hear in the comments what you guys are up to being home right now. Thanks so much for joining me today and I'll see you soon. Bye.